In this video, I'm going to talk about ohms, what ohms are, and why it's so important for service techs to regularly test the ohms on a sprinkler system. Ohms is the unit of electrical resistance, and every solenoid has a different ohms reading. Begin by setting the function switch on your multimeter to the ohms position. It looks like an upside down U. Next, set the range switch to the diode position. The screen will show a number 1, which means infinity, the line is open. Next, connect each of the multimeter probes to one of the solenoid wires. It doesn't matter which wire you choose as the solenoid is non-polar. If there is continuity, the multimeter will start to make a buzzing noise. The multimeter will then display a number referencing the resistance. 90% of the time, you'll be taking your ohms reading at the controller. Connect the black lead to the common output and the red lead to the field wire output. Every brand of solenoid has a different ohms reading, which means you can figure out what valves are in the ground without doing any digging. An Irritrol or a Hardy solenoid will have an ohms reading of around 23. A Rainbird solenoid will have an ohms reading of around 41. A Hunter solenoid will have an ohms reading of around 22. A Toro solenoid will have an ohms reading of around 52. If you have two solenoids connected to one field wire, then the ohms reading will be less than half of the original ohms reading. An Irritrol solenoid should have an ohms reading of around 23. With two solenoids connected to one field wire, it has an ohms reading of 10. If your multimeter displays the number 1, infinity, that means you have a broken wire. To locate the break may require using special tools such as a wire locator or a pulser. If the multimeter displays a number larger than 60, then you either have a partial connection or a grounded wire. To fix a partial connection, redo all connections at valve boxes. A grounded wire can be extremely hard to locate and often requires running new wire to the valves. An ohms reading smaller than 10 often means a shorted solenoid. Locate the shorted solenoid and swap it out for a new one. In this case, the solenoid is actually a DC latching solenoid that has an ohms reading of around 7.